Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on balance delta. So just uh, go through the problem once. It's a three phase balance delta connected load of 4.8 ohms. So let me write that here. This is 4 plus J8. Since it is balanced, so this is going to be there for each phase. Okay, so balance delta. And it was connected across 400 volts three phase balance supply. Okay, so between every two lines, this 400 volts is going to be there. Like this. So, this is a supply R, Y, B terminals. And uh, we need to determine uh, the phase currents. That means I phase. And then line currents, that is IL. And we need to assume the phase sequence as R, Y, B. So, let me draw the phase sequence also. This is R, Y, B. Right. So, and also we need to calculate the power drawn by the load. Okay. So, firstly, in order to solve the phase, line and power, so all these variables, we need to understand what do you mean by phase current and what do you mean by line current and what are the relations. So, these details were already posted in my previous video. There is a relations uh, uh, between phase and line quantities uh, for a balanced delta as well as star also. Uh, that link I will be giving you in iCard as well as in description. Please do verify if you are having any doubts. Okay, so simply I am explaining here. So since this is the current flowing in the line called as line current I1, this is the second line, this is I2, this is the third line called I3. And let me draw uh, the phase currents also. This is IR, this is IY, and this is IB. So, in this problem, we need to find the phase currents. That means we need to calculate the value for IR, IY, and IB. These values we need to calculate. And also, second one, line currents. That means we need to calculate I1, I2, as well as I3. And third point, we need to calculate the power drawn by the load. So, it can be expressed in, in terms of line as well as phase. If it is in line, it should be root 3 VL IL cos phi. Or in phase, if you want to represent, it should be 3 V phase I phase cos phi. Okay, so these are the formulas. And before getting into uh, the exact solution, we need to remember the basic relations between phase and line quantities uh, for this balanced delta. So, for a balanced delta, phase current is going to be line current by root 3. Phase voltage is going to be line voltage. And the power relation, you can observe uh, this in terms of phase or you can uh, have this one also. Okay, so this is a power relations. Okay, so while you start doing the problem, you need to take any one of the phase as your reference. So here, because it is delta, phase voltage is nothing but line voltage. So here I'm considering VRY as my reference. That is V some angle zero. This is I'm going to take it as reference. And this voltage is already specified in the problem as 400 volts. Therefore, VRY is going to be 400 at an angle 0. Next, V sequence is what? RYB. RY completed. Next sequence is YB. So, YB is going to be 400 at an angle minus 120. Next, Again, you write RYB here. So, the next sequence is going to be BR. So, VBR is going to be 400 at an angle minus 240. 
okay so this is about the supply okay so and in the problem it was given as the phase impedance that means impedance between each phase is 4 plus j 8 ohms okay so it is always preferred to have uh, in polar form as well this is 8.94 at an angle 63.4 okay this is the phase impedance now uh, first uh, we'll calculate the phase currents the first phase current is IR as you can see this is the phase current IR in the figure you can observe okay so this phase is connected between RY so and according to Ohm's law current is the ratio of voltage to impedance so this is the voltage across RY by impedance across RY you have already assumed what is VRY. This is 400 at an angle 0 by impedance. So, since it is a division, so keep it in polar form 63.4. So, the magnitude can be divided directly and whose value is 8.94. Oh, no, no. It's a current, right? So, this is 400 by 8.94 let me calculate okay this is going to be 44.74 the angle should be subtracted 0 minus 63.4 is going to be minus 63.4 okay so this is how we need to calculate ir similarly iy so just go with the figure so iy so this iy is the current flowing between yb so you need to write vyb not by because we need to follow the phase sequence this is again impedance between yb so what is vyb this one so this is 400 at an angle minus 120 by impedance is going to be same okay so this is 8.94 at an angle 63.4 your magnitude is going to be same 44.74 the angle that we need to solve so that is minus 120 minus 63.84 this is minus 183.4 degrees this is i by similarly we can calculate i b so this ib is going to be vbr if you want you can verify the figure okay so this is 400 at an angle minus 240 by 8.94 at an angle 63.4 so magnitude 44.74 angle minus 240 minus 63.4 that is 303 minus 303.4 so we have completed the first task that is phase currents that we have calculated now it is the time to calculate the line currents just go with the figure so as you can see this is the current entering at this node i'm calling it as node and just look at the currents this is IR which is leaving and this current is entering okay just apply KCL at this node so you get the relation for I1 so by simple observation I'm writing here so I1 is entering so and also IB is entering and IR is leaving I just uh, applied KCL so this I1 is going to be IR minus IB. That's it. Okay. So in that way we can calculate. So let us calculate the first current, first line current. Okay. So this is I1. So I1 is IR minus IB. We have calculated the values already. 44.74 at an angle minus 63.4 minus IB again 44.74 at an angle minus 183.4 so 
so again you need to convert because you are doing a subtraction okay so you need to convert this in it into uh, you know rectangular form and again this into rectangular add uh, the real and imaginary parts so you get the expression for i1 and if you want to convert that into polar you can convert that into polar this is one method so what could be the other method since it is a balanced line current is going to be root 3 times of phase current okay so let us go with the first current that is i1 so root 3 into ir but here you need to understand one point clearly just go with the phasor diagram of currents okay so this is ir next this is iy and this is ib okay so as you can see this i1 i1 is the vector difference between ir and ib i am writing it as vector sum so plus of minus ib so in this phasor diagram or vector diagram you don't find minus ib so reflect ib like this just project it into the reverse direction and by the way the angle between each vector here is exactly 120 okay 120 so this projected line will cut the angle exactly so here the angle is 60 and here also the angle is 60 okay so this vector is going to be minus ib so how you calculate i1 just look at here so i1 is the resultant of ir and minus ib let me draw the resultant okay so this is your resultant i1 this resultant will cut the angle exactly so here the angle is 30 here also the angle is 30 okay now what i'm saying is that just concentrate on the angle between i1 and ir okay so what is the angle difference 30 so which one is leading and which one is lagging i1 is lagging and ir is leading so what we can write here okay so see this is root 3 what is ir we have already calculated the magnitude that is 44.74 at an angle minus 63.4 but this is lagging lagging by 30 so do like this minus 30 so you get 77.49 at an angle minus 93.4 i hope you understand so the line current i1 is equal to root 3 times the phase current that's okay and 30 angle behind its respective phase current that is reason why uh, we have subtracted minus 30 okay so next i2 so how we can calculate similarly root 3 into 44.74 into so th this should be root 3 into i y right so whose angle is how much minus 183.4 minus 30 you need to put again so whose value is 77.49 at an angle minus 213.4 okay so don't forget to write the units next i3 this is root 3 into ib this is root 3 into 44.74 um, how much is that angle minus 303.4 minus 30 okay so you get 77.49 at an angle minus 333.4 okay so second task completed the line currents were completed now it is the time to calculate the power okay so power so we got three formulas that is root 3 v, sorry two formulas vl il cos phi or this is 3 v phase i phase cos phi so i'm picking this one so 3 into phase voltage 
so in a balanced phase or line both the values are same so 400 and phase current is also constant since it is a balanced one 44.74 and what is this phi phi is the angle between phase voltage and current you can pick any of the phases r phase y phase b phase the angle is going to be 63.4 only if you want you can verify so the answer is 24.039 kilowatt in this way we can do the calculations i hope you understand thank you so much for watching this video